This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals course. I'm on Course D, Lesson 2, Introduction to Online Puzzles, Part 9. Help the bird get to the pig. All right, here's a bird, here's a pig, here's the code we can choose from. So I can tell already I want to move forward and then turn to the right and then move forward maybe and then maybe turn. Here, let's see. It's always good to hit run while writing the code because then you can test it. All right, and then I'm going to want to turn to the left. Ah, I just messed things up. Move forward, turn to the right, move forward, turn to the left. And then I think I'm going to move forward, turn to the right. Here, let's see. Okay, so what I want to do now is move forward, turn to the right, move forward, turn to the left, and I'm repeating myself. So instead of having to do all of this code again, I'm going to drag our repeat block over here. I'm going to put a number two because I think I need to do it all twice. I'm going to drop in our code. And this code, anything in between the top of the pink and the bottom of the pink, is now going to run twice. So it's going to go forward, right, forward, left, zoop, forward, right, forward, left. Let's try it. Oh, we're so close. So maybe three times will get us there. Forward. And we did it. Awesome. So the repeat block is really handy because, well, honestly, we can write less code and still do the same stuff. So this is the how I used it. Great, let's uh, keep going.